You can use compound debug configurations to launch multiple debug targets at the same time. For example, you can use this to both start up and start debugging a server, and then also debug the JavaScript that's served up on that server's web pages. Now here, for example, I have a simple express project, and let's say that I wanted to both debug the express application itself, as well as the JavaScript that it's serving up. Here I already have separate debug launch configs for each of those. So I have launch program here, which will start up the express server, and then I have launch Chrome here, which will actually go and attach to the JavaScript that's being served up. But let's go and create a compound debug configuration so we can just launch everything and start debugging both of those just by pressing F5. To start with, here in my launch.json file, I'm going to go in and create a new section below configurations called compounds. And IntelliSense will help out here, so I'll say compounds. You see, when I hit enter here, it is filled in a template. This is a new debug configuration, so we have to give it a name. We'll just keep it called compound now. And then we have to specify which of these existing configurations we want to use as part of this compound. So I'm going to go into this array here. And again, IntelliSense can help us out, so I'll just trigger IntelliSense with control space. And you can see it's suggesting launch Chrome, so I'll say yes for that. And then launch program as the other one here, so we're just listing out the names of the targets that we want to include in this compound. And now when I go over to the debug view here, I can go and select the new compound debug configuration and start using it. So I'm going to go to the drop down here and say compound, which is the new one we just set up. And I'm going to say run here, or you could just press F5. And now it has both launched the server, so you can see that we have hit a breakpoint on the express page here. And then it's also gone and uh, launched Chrome and attached to the Chrome browser uh, and the JavaScript that's being served up there. So here we've hit the server breakpoint first. And now we've actually hit a breakpoint in the main JavaScript over here. So you can see here is Chrome that is being started up here. And it has hit this main JS file that is being served up on the web page itself. And we we're also debugging that. And again, we didn't have to start each of those separately. We were just able to press F5 to start up that compound debug configuration to both debug the client and the server side code. So that's a quick look at compound debug configurations for VS Code. Be sure to check out the docs for more details and information on setting them up.